We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Dr. Vijaya Lakshmi Gupta, who is the head of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Dr. Gupta, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about the theme of ITU Telecom World 2015 is accelerating innovation for social impact. How do you see ICT innovation directly impacting on socio-economic development in India? See, uh, ICT is a very, very critical infrastructure and without that you just cannot reach and reachability is what leads to development. And as you are aware, India is a very vast country, it's almost a subcontinent as we call it. And we still have lots of pockets which are not really connected. If you see 70% of our uh, population live in villages. And if you see the teledensity of the country, if it is uh, something like 150% in the urban areas, as far as the rural areas are concerned, it is less than 50%. So there is a vast populace which is waiting to be connected there. And that is what is going to lead to the socio-economic development that will surely arrest people moving from the rural areas to the urban areas, putting pressure on, it will give them employment through innovation in the rural areas. It will set up uh, taking into the theme of the uh, ITU 2015, in which I was very glad to find a lot many SME participation. And we can have a lot of innovative SMEs set up in the rural area, which will give them employment and which will give them connectivity. And what measures can government and industry take to encourage entrepreneurship and to foster SMEs in the ICT sector? And what is India doing in particular? Yes. See, it is very important because nowadays setting up an industry, a large-scale industry, takes too much of infrastructure and capital. And this is the age of innovation. So you really need not set up a huge industry to come out with some kind of a production. But with innovation which is there, you could just make an app and make, uh, you know, billions as we have seen coming up with Facebook or WhatsApp. or So in an age of innovation, it is the small SMEs or the small or the medium enterprise sectors which will really lead to the economic development. And uh, we do not need the government intervention to such a large extent to set up a large industry. Because if you see the developing countries, it was always the government which was setting up the large industries because private industries did not get the capital. But to set up a small industry, it is just essential that the government gives a very enabling atmosphere. It allows people to set up, allows innovation and allows the small entrepreneurs to set it up in a faster manner. And all that the government has to do is give them a regulatory uh, environment which will allow them to free uh, you know, business uh, dealings. And in India, actually, we have a ministry, separate ministry, which has been set up, which is called Ministry of Small and Medium Enterprises. And uh, to encourage it, we have a lot of governmental instructions. Like, for example, any procurement by the government of India departments, 15% of that is to be sourced by the from the small and medium enterprises. So there is a lot of um, enabling environment which we have created for the SMEs. And I'm sure with the push which ITU has been giving, like yesterday I attended that workshop on the SMEs, which was chaired, um, and uh, the Secretary General himself was present with a huge uh, you know, audience, plus participants from the governments, regulators, and the SMEs. And I think in the ICT, SMEs have a very large role to play. There's a lot of talk about uh, incubating, incubation, a, a, a warm, safe environment yes. uh, to, and see, to yes. see these projects hatch. But the, see, the advantage of an SME is it doesn't require a lot of gestation period. Right. <laughs> so if you give a proper incubating atmosphere, then it can immediately start producing results, which is what is so different about an SME in comparison to anything which requires, you know, which requires large uh, capital formation or capital injection, and to that extent, the return on capital takes time. But an SME, if you are so great that you just sit in front of, make out, uh, you know, an app and just pump it through the, and then you have millions of people using that app, and with the advertisement which they get, you are already in the job. So that's the advantage of an SME. On a grander scale, how important are collaboration and multi-stakeholder partnerships in accelerating ICT innovation? See, nothing can be done. This is actually a period of globalization. So no country can do something alone, nor can, uh, you know, uh, it has to be a complete multi-stakeholder participation in the true universal sense of the term for ICT. So I think under the umbrella of the ITU, plus we have various regional cooperation uh, agencies, like you have the APT, we have the SATRC, 
and recently if you see the BRICS uh, the BRICS the UFA convention which declared which was which consists of you know economically interested and closer nations like Brazil Russia India in which China we were also there and uh, if you see the UFA convention results it, I mean one has to develop then you have the Commonwealth you have several of those which learn from each other and uh, I think multi in that like uh, in this particular ITU in Budapest itself if you see apart from the exhibits which have been put from all over the world and you also find participants from the industry you find participants from the academia you find participants like me from the regulators you find you find government participants so this has to be a complete synergy of all the stakeholders and across the world what's your main message here for participants at ITU Telecom World yes uh, in fact, I think, you know, after the uh, Millennium Development Goals, we are having the first meeting of the ITU after the, you know, UN General Assembly meeting, which has been adopted uh, with the sustainable development. So I think I like the, you know, word here, smart sustainable development. And it should be sooner, faster. In fact, it should be earlier than later, which is what is the thing. And I think this is the time that we need to put in all that we had worked for earlier in the first millennium development, but work faster now to ensure that uh, there is an inclusive development in the ICT. Dr. Gupta, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you.